what pisses me off is like <laughs> he was such a good actor and i don't think we like necessarily told him that enough Corey monteith's acting ability was not lost among his glee co-stars on the April 16th episode of the And That's What You Really Missed podcast, Kevin McHale and Jenna Ushkowitz discuss the late actor's performance in the show's season one finale. The scene at the start of it, before we start going, between Finn and Rachel, and he walks over to her and says, I love you, really quickly. I was like, Ugh. this whole episode, I was just floored. By Corey. He's so good. So good. Corey passed away in July 2013 at age 31 of an accidental drug overdose. And while he's been gone for almost a decade, Kevin and Jenna regret not giving their friend his flowers when they could. What pisses me off is like <laughs> he was such a good actor, and I don't think we like necessarily told him that enough. Or like Yeah, yeah. And like the <clears throat> things that we miss out on getting to see him do. Right. In the episode the pair referred to, the Glee Club attempts to capture a regional title. Heading into the competition, Rachel, played by Leah Michelle, kisses Corey's character Finn before he later confesses his love to her. Break a leg. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, our second competitor is winner of the Central Ohio sectional McKinley High's New Directions! Corey's sudden death occurred between seasons four and five of the Fox series. Back in November, while appearing on the podcast, co-creator Ryan Murphy revealed he wishes they'd taken more time before resuming. None of us knew how to handle it. None of us knew how to pay tribute to him. None of us knew what to do with the business. Right. But all of us did know that when that happened, I think our hearts all kind of broke and we were kind of done. Yes. Even though it, yeah. was, it yes. was not we said, it, we were like, okay, well, that... that there, there it goes. <laughs> there, it's gone. The, yeah. the spirit of joy of it has left the building. And Corey isn't the only Glee star to have passed away in recent years. Mark Salling, who played Noah Puck Puckerman, died by suicide in 2018. And Naya Rivera, who held the role of Santana Lopez, drowned accidentally in 2020. The actors' deaths were discussed in the Investigation Discovery docuseries The Price of Glee, released in January, with Corey's former roommate Justin Neal explaining he just got to the point where he just hated fame. I'm just so tired. I want to rest for a bit. I'm sick of singing these songs. I remember him specifically saying, I wouldn't wish fame on my worst enemy. He then added, I think with that level of fame, you lose sight of who you are. To every single person, he wasn't Corey anymore. He was now Finn. We just knew he wasn't in the best place.